Hello, and welcome to Beyond Books, where we talk about books from Book of the Month Club and beyond. I'm your host. I'm Renee. It's Tag Tuesday. Here we are again. So let's get started on today's tag. I am going to do the In Your Wildest Dreams tag. Uh, this original tag was created by Heather Reeds. I'll have the link below. Uh, and I was tagged by Pat at Book Chat with Pat. I'll also have a link to her channel below. So here we go with the prompts. In as much detail as you can, describe these things. So the first is your fantasy time and place to read a book. Well, I can read a book anywhere, and that's one of the good things that I like about reading. Um, but if I had to pick an absolute fantasy place, I would choose a fairly cool day, or at least not too hot of a day, uh, in the shade, in a hammock, by water, where I could hear the waves lapping the shore, either a big lake or uh, the ocean. And um, I would choose to uh, have something nice and cold to drink. Uh, and if the weather was a little bit more on the cool side, I would choose, of course, to have a warm drink, probably tea or coffee. Um, and I would read my book in the hammock. So that would be my ideal fantasy place for reading. So the next one is your fantasy personal library uh, or your personal library uh, if you've attained your fantasy. Um, you know, I don't really have a fantasy personal library. I mean, it seems like you can get books from everywhere and anywhere. Uh, and I've gotten books out of the free library that I've never heard of before and just enjoyed the heck out of them. <laughs> you know, and other times I've paid, you know, the top dollar for a book uh, because brand new and it just came out and I got to have it and I want to read it. And when I start reading it, I realize I don't really enjoy it that much. Um, so, yeah, not so much. I mean, you can get anything on your Kindle, which is fantastic. I mean, I guess I would want a Kindle where the batteries like never, ever, ever ran out and uh, all the books were free or something like that. <laughs> and uh, it was in color and it was nice and fast. And uh, I got all the books with audio and I could have my choice all the time of what I wanted to read or listen to. I guess that would probably be my fantasy. It's pretty attainable actually. So number three, imagine that you have decided to build a bookshop. That'd be fun. Uh, what would you call it? And would it sell new or secondhand books? Would it sell anything else? And what features would you want in that shop? Well, I kind of like the name Beyond Books. So I think I would name it Beyond Books, <laughs> hosted by Renee. <laughs> Um, and would it sell new or secondhand books? I'd probably sell a mix of both. I'd really like to be one of those uh, bookstores that buys and sells. Um, so that would be fun, you know, and come across some odd and unusual things. Um, I would like to really be able to spend the time reading a lot of those books so that I could make recommendations to people and stuff when they came in and wanted something interesting to read. Maybe they're going somewhere where there's a hammock. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that would kind of be a fantasy of mine. Uh, would it sell anything else? Yeah, I think it would sell some really good smelling coffee, uh, maybe some baked goods, some pottery, um, maybe some cool posters or, you know, some type of nice wall hangings. I think that'd be fun. And maybe some t-shirts that say Beyond Books. 
um, what features would you want in that shop? Well, I think I'd want really personalized service, good service to customers. I'd want them to feel comfortable. I'd want them to spend some time there uh, talking and just enjoying. So number four, one person, not a YouTube creator, uh, with whom you can have a good good conversation about books. Um, and if you don't know a person, who do you know that you wish would become a reader so that you could talk with them? Well, probably the person that I speak to uh, live and in person uh, the most often about books right now is one of my neighbors. Uh, she was a school teacher uh, for her working career, uh, and she has that great quality of um, reading a lot of books and some of her tastes are pretty similar to mine. Uh, she likes historical fiction um, and um, she likes, you know, uh, just contemporary novels, works of fiction. A lot of the books that I've mentioned to her she thinks sound interesting and a lot of the ones she tells me about I think sound very interesting as well. But she's got that good teacher quality of um, being uh, smart and intelligent and just a really good conversationalist, but also um, listening at the same time and being interested in what it is that you have to say. So she's a good person to speak with books. So speak with about books. Number five, if you won a million dollars or pounds or yen or euros, etc., cetera, uh, and you could only spend it on books or book related items, how would you spend it? Um, well, since my fa fantasy library really isn't going to cost that much, um, I would uh, actually take a lot of that money and donate it somewhere where um, kids could read, uh, get a hold of books that they like, and um, discover the joys of reading. Uh, and if they had difficulties with reading, maybe get see that they get into some type of group or, you know, special learning thing where they, you know, can have the time with them that they need to learn to read and just get them reading something that interests them uh, because that's something that I think could benefit them throughout their whole lives. And um, yeah, I would spend money on kids and, and kids books and stocking free libraries and things like that. So now number six is to tag some others. So um, y'all tagged. I'm going to just tag everyone. It's a big open tag. It's like a group hug. It's a group tag. <laughs> so if you think this is a good tag, and I do, it's, um, it's fun, actually. Because um, you get to fantasize about what you, you know, want to do with the world of reading. So... Um, you know, if you think it's interesting, pick it up and do it. And if you do, let me know that you've you've done it. I'd be happy to see your answers. So I just wanted to issue to one uh, little correction <laughs> to, um, I think it was a video I put out over the weekend, uh, and it was about the banned books that I read in April. I went over three of them, which was a little bit long for one video. I really should have done two together and then, you know, the third one separately, but it is what it is. Uh, and I reviewed um, Heartstopper of Mice and Men and Looking for Alaska. Now, when I review the banned books, I really talk about why they're banned to the extent that I possibly can. It's kind of difficult sometimes to find information about that. But one of the things that I had mentioned was that I was going to talk about the book that I'm currently reading, which happens to also be a banned book. Uh, and I, because the video got so long, I didn't end up doing that. So I did want to say that I had started um, Bel Canto by Anne Patchett. And um, this book, uh, it's kind of interesting because this and one of her other uh, books that I can't think of the name of right now. Um, it's back there somewhere. Um, something about Liar's Lie or something like that. But anyway... Uh, they both recently were banned in Orange County, Florida. Orange County is the county where Orlando is. So um, I really don't know why. Um, 
the author was very bold about it and she put out a statement saying, you know, hey, <laughs> you know, she didn't really care that much for the band, but um, it was calling attention to her book. So she'd hoped that people would read them. Uh, so I went ahead and just ordered these like right off the bat from um, Thrift Books because I really liked her attitude. <laughs> I'll try to find that clip and um, link it in the description area below. But I just want to give that little um, introduction to uh, what I'm presently reading. And I will do a longer review once I complete this book as well. Possibly with another band book by then. Oh, and by the way, this is number 12 for me. So I'm halfway through the band book project. So stay right on track with these. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the project. So... All right, if you like my content, you know what to do, right? I'm not even, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it, cause y'all know what to do. So other than that, take care, have a great day.